Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our college football 25 dynasty as the offensive coordinator of Florida. We are going up against the number three ranked LSU Tigers. We are coming off of that win against FCS, Sharks or whatever. Um, they are undefeated as well. So it should be a hard fought game. Probably going to be a lot of running. Um, and I'll catch you guys at the end to uh, do a recap. We'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. It's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Here's the second down play. Takes the handoff again. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. Well, good push up front here in this back. I tell you, he's got some outstanding vision to be able to find those creases to be able to get positive yards, and here he gets the first down. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking downfield, it's Lagway. Let's it go. Makes the catch downfield. They tackle him, but the game moves the ball to the 36. The Gators looking to keep this drive rolling. Looking to throw it on first down. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. He's brought down after a short gain that's not going to be first down yardage. Now it's second down here. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Looking right, this one caught. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. You talk about balance as a play caller. I don't know if it gets much better than what this offense is doing. Three runs, three passes, and all. They pressure him and sack him, but he tackled inside the 10. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. Makes the grab in the end zone. On the run, it's Webb. Showed off the stiff arm, but nowhere to go. He's held to a short game. Second down play coming up. And the back now goes in motion. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Has the first down still on the move. Bulldozing his way past tacklers. Tackle finally made, but it's a huge game. They'll spot it at the 34. Line getting set up. It's a first down play. Hand off to the back. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Not only does the defense stack him up at the point of attack, but he was instantly pushed backwards. The defense was prepared to defend the RPO. Caught over the middle. It's Webb. Tackled there by the defense. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. So now it's third and short from the plus 25. They're in field goal range. But let's see what the call is. They're thinking about touchdown, of course. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Here's the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then... And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. And he'll be taken down, but after... Back's got it. As the first down is still going. He's brought down, but not before crossing midfield of the 42. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. On the run here, lets it go. Oh, he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before it got to him. That'll bring up second down. Oh my gosh, they almost came up with another interception. They had a pick on the last drive. They're doing such a good job of baiting this quarterback and the throwing the ball into coverage. 
and then making a play on the ball. Let's see if they can keep this going. And Florida has the lead, Kirk, as they break for the quarter. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. for the second period. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. There's the handoff. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Looking for a gap. It's Webb. And they stop him at the four after an excellent run. Everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers. And don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. But, man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching a the game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. Play action fake, looking to throw. Quarterback heading right, trying to create on the move. And he's got it! Touchdown for From the shotgun, an inside handoff. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Give it to the back again. Enough for a first down at the 37. Receivers are bunched together. Off the play fake on first down. He'll throw it now. Short pass, finds the tight end. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. That completion makes it second and medium. Looking to throw. It's Lagway. Defense is coming after him. The defense gets him, but it's a first down. Shows you how dangerous he can be scrambling. The Gators are moving quickly down the field. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And that run produces a decent game. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards of pop like that. Second down after that previous play. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. The pocket breaking down. And the junior gets home making a sack there. Chris, this one's on the quarterback, in my opinion. He's got to have a better feel and a presence in the pocket to be able to either check it down or get rid of the ball. You just can't take the sack. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And they tackle him, but not before a huge gain down near the 26. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. And the Gators getting set on first and ten. Tries the right with a quick throw. It's complete, but a grab near the sideline. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. Now, when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me we catch made in the end zone. First and ten, they'll look to throw it. Pressure is coming. Quarterback looking to scramble. And the play is good enough for a first down to move the ball to 34. The Gators come to the line in the hurry up. Scanning the field. It's Lagway looking to scramble. He bought some time, now lets it go. Short throw to the sideline, forced out after just a short game. Chris, a great ability by this quarterback to get outside of the pocket and place the football right where it needs to be for the first down. On first and ten, looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Offense facing a second and ten. 
returns the snap, they'll set up to throw. The pass rush closing in. He makes the grab. The tackle is finally made, but an explosive gain. They'll move it down to the 23-yard line. So the offense calls a timeout here as they're forced at the half. He's running out of time here. He gets loose, able to pick up a solid gain there on the scramble. Chris, I love the patience here by the quarterback. He's waiting for something to happen downfield, but it's not there. Then you see the athletic ability to be able to pick up some good yards. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. He'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. They call the draw play here. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. So this defense finally makes a play. That's one of the few negative plays for this offense today. Yeah, you said it, Chris. They don't have the easiest road to climb back in this one, but little plays like that can be points of positivity of what coaches will likely focus on as they move forward. You know, a lot of times these types of plays either go for nothing or they can go for a huge chunk of yards. Here, they do a nice job of getting it to the outside, turning it upfield, and ended up getting a nice gain out of it. Bringing pressure. He's moving out of the pocket now. And it's almost picked off. He trusted his arm, but a risky throw. Almost his second interception today. The Gators will line up to punt it away. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. And the fair catch, signal for Here's the handoff. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Back behind the quarterback, a line in a pistol. They're going to run it here. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Back to pass. It's Lagway. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. He's hit his... Oh, the pass is picked off! Not a great return. Are you ready? Using his legs, it's Webb. And runner brought down right at the 38 yard line. The game makes it second and medium. Same tailback, another carry. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? Brought down to the 47, and that will move the sticks. Fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. They make the tackle, but that's an excellent game. Moves the ball to the 33. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. And the Gators pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Handing off on the draw play. And tackled after a small pickup there. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. And Florida has the lead, Kirk, as we break for the quarter. And they got to be feeling pretty good about things as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's review how we got here. One final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. Can they keep this drive going, trying to convert on third down now? And there's the handoff. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. How about that, Chris? They run the football here on third down, almost pick up the first down. What it does, though, is gives them a much better chance if they decide to go for this of picking up that first down. The pass ball. Ready, 
Handoff as they try to work the clock here. And he's brought down after a short game. Does not make the first down yardage. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Chris, good job here on this stop. But remember, the ball is in bounds, and the clock keeps moving here late in the game when you're trailing. As a defense, you got to start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. So you get all three to use. But what point are you going to start putting those into play? Takes the handoff. It's Webb. Not much on that play. Brought down short. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. And that catch is hauled in. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. The Gators line up on first and ten now. Well, he's been their go-to guy all game long. They needed a big play there on third down. They go his way again, and it works out. And it's incomplete, very near the goal line. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. The shotgun running play call. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Back to throw. It's Lagway. And it's caught. Touchdown. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here's the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. This defense just hasn't had many answers for this running back. Guy's already over 100 yards on the afternoon, but give them credit there. They made a nice play in the backfield. He's going to hand this off. Breaking free at the 35. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Big runs like this are just demoralizing for a defense. It's one thing to give up big plays over your head against the pass game. But when teams can run the ball and pick up yards like this, it really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence. And you'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. The Gators are going to cash in this red zone trip. Here comes the handoff. Tough running there. Breaks a tackle and picks up the first down. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. Well, this was an intriguing matchup coming in. We weren't sure which way it was going to go. Kirk, what do you think made the difference today? All right, guys. Big win. Played our best game, probably. Still making horrible mistakes. And it's not on Lagway. It's on me. I'm just throwing the ball and what I should. But he had a heck of a game. Completion percentages, I, I, I can deal with that. Um, of course, I had to throw that little touchdown at the end. But I'll catch you guys in the next video.